What about this surface here, this 45 degree angle on the front of my part? Is that a G17, a G18, or a G19 plane? Well, it's, it's none of the above. We're not going to use typical can cycles to drill and tap this hole. In this case, we're going to program this hole point to point. Let's take a look at the whiteboard and we'll show you how. Okay, so to drill a hole at some funny angle, doesn't matter what the angle is, all we've got to do is program a starting location. This is where the tip of our drill needs to move to before it drills the hole. Then we just use a G1 to feed to the end point of our drill. Now, tapping, that's a different cycle altogether. All we have to do to tap at any angle we want, vector tapping, is change our G01 to a G184 for clockwise tapping for a right hand tap. Now, again, I'm forgetting that we're using a right-angled head that reverses the direction of my spindle. So we're not going to use a G184. We're going to use a G174. This is a counterclockwise tapping cycle. It behaves and acts just like a G1, except it takes my feed rate, matches it with an RPM, and threads in and threads back out from the starting point to the end of the hole. Okay, so this G174 cycle is pretty cool. It'll work on any angle, and I mean any angle. You can start at any XYZ location and tap to any XYZ location. If you've got the right angled head, you can drill and tap at a compound angle. Now, how do you set up an angled head like this, the one that we've got, at 45 degrees? It's pretty simple. All you have to do is go into MDI and program an XY move at 45 degrees. Single block through that program with your indicator against the side of the, the angled head and dial it in just like you would a vise. Now Haas has been making mills for three decades and there have been constant software improvements along the way. So which of the cycles that we talked about today can you use on your machine? Well, we've been able to drill using a G1 and vector tap using a G174, G184 all the way back since mill version 10.23. Now if you want to use normal can cycles like a G81 in a G18 or G19 plane, you've been able to do that on your Haas mill since version 1802. Now mills are leaving the factory today with the next generation control can do everything. They can drill using a G1, they can use normal can cycles in the G18 and G19 plane, normal drilling can cycles. They can vector tap using a G174 or G184. And they can also use typical tapping cycles like a G74 or G84 in the G18, G19 plane. So by far the best way to touch off your, your right angle tools is to use an offline tool presetter. You just take the entire assembly out, set it inside the tool presetter, and sweep the diameter and the length for that tool. Now, if you don't have that, you can write a custom macro to use your on-table tool presetter. But there's a lot of different variables involved with that. We're not going to cover that today. For this part, I simply jog my Z down, touching off the side of my tool on top of my part. Once there, I press the tool offset measure key. Then I bring my Z down by half the diameter of the tool. For my tip of my tool left and right, my X and Y values, I'll just bring the tip of my tool up against the side of my part, which in this case is going to be my X0. And I will jog it over until the tip of the tool touches. From that point, I'm going to use part zero set to set a unique work offset that's going to be used only by the right angle tool. So Z value, I used my tool offset. X, Y value, I used my work offset. OK, now as we wind up this video, we've got something really important to talk about. The tool that we put into our spindle, this right angled head, is huge and it's heavy. We have to be careful that we designate it as a large tool on our pocket tool table. Even with that, that's going to slow down the tool change arm. The, the pocket up and pocket down is controlled by pneumatics. If your tool is right on the hairy edge of what is allowed weight-wise, you might need to order a dampening kit and have a qualified Haas service engineer install it for you. Thanks, Orville. Perfect. Now, on top of that, this tool is big. It's giant. 
If you run a drill and you think, okay, I'm just fine, it doesn't hit anything in my machine, that doesn't mean anything. That drill might hit all the sheet metal as it goes round and round in the side mount tool changer carousel. So look at the sticker that's on the front of your machine that tells us what the max diameter and the max weight of the tool is that you're allowed to run on your particular machine. Now when I got this right angled head in the mail from Parlec, it came with its own tooling block. Now we do sell these, we sell our own tooling blocks, but these are kind of generic. You really want to get the, the exact tooling block necessary for the right angled head that you're buying from the manufacturer. Now at the end of today's video, we're going to have a bunch of documents for you, a bunch of links. We're going to have a little blueprint that shows you the whole pattern of your CAT 40 or CAT 50 spindle so you know what that bolt pattern is. We're also going to have all of the proof programs that we ran today so you can use those as examples. We'll also have the part numbers for the tooling blocks and for that little dampener in case you need to, to slow down your, your pocket up and down if you've got a really heavy tool. That's it, and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.